we saw that Moses, with the best intention of the world, tried to help, but did it just with his own human strength. And then the people he tried to help turned on him and he ran for it. And it's like, you're a forgotten man, Moses. He's got married, he's got kids. The original vision, I guess, is long forgotten. And then comes this amazing day in his life. He sees this bush burning, but it's not going up in smoke. It's not getting destroyed. It just seems to burn and glow and burn. And he thinks, I must go and see. And imagine what it was like for him. Suddenly, out from the bush comes this voice calling him. And it's kind of, whoa, sandals off, holy ground, presence of God. And God summons him. God has been on his case right from birth. But he has to have a lot of self-confidence drained out of him. You know, sometimes we feel I'm not strong enough for God, but sometimes we're too strong for God. God doesn't choose many mighty. He doesn't choose many strong, the Bible says. He chooses the weak things. And Moses is now a weak thing. He's now, you know, given up, really. And God initiates. He says, it's now going to be God. And you get this uh, question from Moses, who am I? When God says, I'm sending you, who am I? And you get this awesome answer. It's not who you are, Moses. It's I am that I am. <laughs> this wonderful name of God. It's like all the resources of heaven are going to be behind you. I'm going to bring them out. I'm going to do an amazing thing. I'm going to reveal my glory. And you're going to be my instrument. It's so different to try to do something and see if you can get God interested. And feeling yourself kind of awestruck with the God who has called you. The God to whom you answer. The God who's going to supply the strength. The God who's going to give the energy. The God who's going to see you through. It's a completely different thing. God says, well, the Bible says, I have heard their cry. I have seen their condition. I have come down to deliver them. I send you. It's altogether different. God is the one who's going to do it. Moses is going to be his servant. Beloved, that's the way to serve God, knowing that the almighty God has apprehended you. And what you do, you do in his power, his strength. It's a completely different deal.